Hi there and welcome to The History Teacher. This revision video covers superpower relations and the Cold War 1941-1991 to from the GCSE Ed Excel 9-1 course. Hopefully you'll also find it useful if you're studying any of the other exam boards or if, like me, you just love history. You can now become a member to support me to continue to make this content. You'll get exclusive access to worksheets, revision materials and you'll get to vote on forthcoming episodes. Just click on the join button below this video. Hi there guys, you will remember that the four summit meetings following Khrushchev's Berlin ultimatum had been unsuccessful in finding a solution to the conflict. Kennedy had returned to the USA to prepare for war, but Khrushchev was unwilling to risk a nuclear war with the USA. He therefore was looking for solutions. Kennedy had let slip at the Vienna summit that he would not oppose the building of a barrier. In addition to this, Khrushchev's threat had an unforeseen effect. The number of people leaving East Berlin for the West increased dramatically. In just one day in early August 1961, 40,000 people left East Berlin just in case the border closed. Khrushchev was now determined to close the border and end the brain drain. After consulting with Khrushchev, the leader of East Germany, Walter Ulbricht, met with other members of his cabinet on the 12th of August 1961. There, he signed the order to begin building the wall. The citizens of Berlin woke on the 13th of August to find a barbed wire fence enclosing West Berlin. The divide cut through streets and even buildings in some places, separating families and friends and owners from their businesses. Despite this, many people continued to try to leave the East. Another famous example is Konrad Schumann, an East German border guard, horrified at the treatment of his fellow citizens by the East German government, leapt over the barbed wire fence on the 15th of August. The photograph of his jump has become an iconic image of the Cold War. The first part of the war was completed by the autumn of 1961. One of the questions I get asked the most by students is why didn't people just climb over the wall? And the answer is, is that it wasn't really just one wall. There were two walls divided by a no man's land of around 100 metres. The no man's land contained booby traps including anti-vehicle cow traps, barbed wire and live mines. There were hundreds of lookout towers containing heavily armed guards. The walls themselves were made of thick concrete and stretched for 165 miles in total. Guards were ordered to shoot anyone who attempted to leave, but it didn't stop people trying. As soon as the escapees set foot on West Berlin soil, they were free and could not be shot at, so people continued to attempt to escape. And around 5,000 people successfully defected to West Berlin. However, around 200 people were killed within sight of the wall. Probably the most famous failed attempt was that of Peter Fetcher, aged 18, who was shot and bled to death in full view of the Western media on the 17th of August 1962. The consequences of the wall were huge for both sides. For Khrushchev, the wall did solve the problem of the brain drain. It was no longer possible to travel easily between the two Berlins. The building of the wall also sent a clear message to the West that the USSR would not give up on East Germany and they would eventually have to acknowledge this. However, it also meant that Khrushchev had to give up on his plans to unite Germany within the USSR and it was a propaganda disaster because it showed that they literally had to lock people up to make them stay in a communist country. For the USA, the wall showed them that the USSR had accepted the divide as permanent and West Berlin became the symbol of freedom and democracy in the West, while the wall itself was seen as a symbol of communist repression and a violation of human rights. However, the wall had been built with no discussion with the West and this showed the West they could not control the actions of the USSR. In 1963, US President Kennedy made a historic visit to Berlin. He gave a speech and famously declared, Ich bin ein Berliner. I am a Berliner. This speech was a strong show of support for the people of West Berlin and a message to the Soviet Union that the United States would not back down in the face of communist aggression. He was greeted with cheering crowds and showered with flowers. His visit gave the West Berliners an opportunity to celebrate their freedom in contrast to the restrictions of East Berlin. Okay, that's everything you need to know about the Berlin Wall and its consequences. I hope this video has helped you to understand the significance of this event. Don't forget to check out my website for worksheets and revision guidance. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.